YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, baby? We're back again for another trailer review. This is Q's Insight. I am Kelly. And today we're going to be talking about that trailer for the black phone. Oh. <clears throat> the movie should be coming out fairly soon, I believe. Um, the studio that's behind it is Blumhouse, man. Let me just say Blumhouse, man. I love you guys. Just for your originality for the movies that you guys make or just for being smart enough to pick movies, you know, what I'm saying that you can turn around and make it into your own thing. Or even if it's movies that people didn't even want to bother with and you were like, you know what, we're going to take it. We're going to make it into something great. And y'all do pretty much every time, you know, what I'm saying so I got to say Blumhouse, man, thank you for your creativeness and thank you for taking chances um, you know, with movies when people didn't want to take chances and y'all made it into something beautiful. Like I they're Blumhouse, baby. Y'all do it for me. And I I'm a big horror fan, so you know, you know I you know you get nothing but my love and my my uh my 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 love all the time, baby. That's just that's just what it's gonna be. Um but yeah, Blumhouse is making this man. Um it seems like a little interesting movie, bro. Um uh, mostly majority of times I like, you know, horror movies where it's the slashers or the supernatural aspects to it, you know, um, things like that. That's 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 mainly my state for horror movies, right? But for this one, it's it's more so kind of like a thriller, right? But you got a supernatural aspect to it, and how much supernatural as how much of a supernatural aspect that we have to it is yet to really be seen. Um, you basically have a story where in which um, kids been going missing, and um, so now that's a, the words around the town, you know, there's this guy kidnapping kids, you know, what's going on and they don't find the they don't find the kids, you know what I'm saying? So it's like either they're, either they're prop they're most likely dead, right? Um, so anyways, you have, uh, the main character and his friend and, you know, they're talking about, you know, what's going on at, in, in their, in their town and, you know, kids being, uh, you know, kidnapped or whatever later on that day. The, the kid goes home by himself little boy he goes home by himself and he ends up running into a stranger a stranger is um unloading his his van and he drops all his groceries on the ground therefore the kid comes he kind of you know is talking to him for a second da, 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 da. and in the midst of all the conversation he ends up getting taken by the guy and took into a, a, a unknown uh, house. I don't think it's an unknown area because it has to be within the vicinity of that town, but it's an unknown house, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but he wakes up and he's down in some type of dark room, a basement. Um, there's just one bed there, you know what I'm saying? And then there's a phone. And so he tries to, you know, use a phone, doesn't work, right? And then the, the kidnapper comes out. He's wearing a mask at this point. Creepy mask, right? And he's just like, you know, hey, well, uh, that phone doesn't work. Uh, it's been disconnected for a long time. And, you know, like, you're pretty much screwed, bro. You're with me. And I guess throughout this time, throughout throughout the time, eventually what ends up happening is the phone starts ringing, even though the phone's been disconnected for such a long time. And the kid ends up picking up the phone. And I don't know if this is something that only he can hear or if it's something that he and the kidnapper can hear. But... Every time the phone rings, he ends up picking them up and he's talking to somebody and their their kids. But he ends up finding out that these are the previous kids that were kidnapped and that are now dead. So that's the supernatural aspect of it that I told you that we're getting. Um, and what ends up happening is I think like each kid that ends up getting kidnapped ends up telling them certain things, you know what I'm saying, to help them to escape. And eventually, I think that's what what you run into at the you know at the end of the movie at the climax, where in which you know he's gonna get up. I've gotten all this information. He's gonna have gone, sit, gone through that time where he sits down. He feels hopeless. He can't do nothing. Then he got the phone calls from the supernatural kids telling him what to do. Da 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 da. da. Then he he mans up. You know he he's got to get out the situation or he just die like them. He doesn't want to be like them. He wants to be the one that survives. He wants to be the one that you know can tell their story right. And, 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 you know, dethrone this kidnapper and get him killed or get him, you know, put to death or, you know, just are just in prison, whatever it may be. Cause that, you know, a, someone like that deserves to be in prison. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, a long time or they just give him the death penalty, whatever. Someone like that deserves to be in prison. Um, that's my take on it. Um, but you know, 
obviously, you know, the kidnapper's not, he's not going to want to let him leave, and da, da 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 so he's going to end up fighting against the little boy or whatever, right, so we don't know if it's supernatural to the point where the dead kids will be coming around and, and messing with the kidnapper, or, you know, I don't know, the dead kids come and, 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 and get inside the little boy's body and, like, gives him ultra strength, like, I don't, I don't know where they're going with that whole thing, but just from what we see, I definitely like it, man, um, you know, it seems kind of original to a certain point because we, we've had kidnapping movies like this, you know what I'm saying? But not really where in which, you know, the previous people that have been kidnapped, you know, are talking to the present person that's been, has, that has been kidnapped and telling them, you know, hey, we're dead, but we're going to help you out. We don't want you to be like us. We want you to escape, bro. So I'm 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 digging the commercial, bro. Um, I, I, I kind of want to see another trailer just to kind of get more vibes from it. But the energy that I'm feeling from it, like, I, I, I'm i feeling like I'll like the movie for sure. So, you know, when it comes out, I'll definitely give it a watch and give it a review. You know what I'm saying? But um, if you guys have uh, seen this uh, trailer for the Black Phone, um, please let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. This is Q's Insight. I am Cali. And um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, and until next time, YouTubers, peace.